Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. If the well ordering principle holds, then the principle of mathematical induction holds. Okay, now for our purposes, the well ordering principle says that every non empty subset of the natural numbers has a smallest element. And second, the principle of mathematical induction says that given any proposition p regarding the natural numbers, if we know one, that p of zero holds, and two, that for all natural numbers n, if p of n, then p of n plus one, then we can include that for all natural numbers n, p of n. Right? And so that's the context. Now let's get into the proof. Okay. Now, we're trying to prove under the assumption that the well-ordering principle holds, that the principle of mathematical induction also holds. So, to prove that the principle of mathematical induction holds, we're going to consider any proposition regarding the natural numbers, p. And we're going to start the proof by supposing that p of 0 holds, and for all natural numbers n, if p of n, then p of n plus 1. And so to prove the principle of mathematical induction holds, what we need to do at this point is prove that for all natural numbers n, p of n. And to prove that, assume for a contradiction it is not the case that for all natural numbers n, p of n. Well, the negation of this statement is that there exists a natural number n such that not to p of n. Now, consider the set S, which consists of the set of all natural numbers n such that not to p of n. Well, since there exists a natural number n such that not to p of n, the set S is not empty. So really, S is a non-empty subset of the natural numbers which means we can apply the well-ordering principle, right? There is some element t in S, which is the smallest element of S. Now, since t is an element of S, it follows that not p of t is true. However, since p of zero is true, we must have that t is not equal to zero. Right, because if t was equal to zero, then we would have p of t and not p of t, which gives us a contradiction. And since t is not equal to zero, we have that t is a non-zero natural number, which means t minus one must be a natural number. Next, let's use the fact that we know for all natural numbers n, if p of n, then p of n plus one. Well, since this statement works for every natural number, it must work for the natural number t minus 1. So if we take n and substitute it with t minus 1, we have that p of t minus 1 implies p of t minus 1 plus 1. In other words, p of t minus 1 implies p of t. And by the contrapositive, we have that not p of t implies not p of t minus 1. And since we have not p of t and not p of t implies not p of t minus 1, we conclude that not p of t minus 1 is true. What that means is t minus 1 satisfies both of these conditions, and therefore t minus 1 must be an element of S. However, since t is the smallest element of S, we must have that t is less than or equal to t minus 1. Wait a minute, we know that t minus 1 is less than t. So, these two inequalities give us a contradiction. And since our assumption that it is not the case that for all natural numbers n, p of n, led us to a contradiction, we must instead have that for all natural numbers n, p of n. So, putting this all together, we suppose that p of 0, 
And for all natural numbers n, if p of n, then p of n plus 1 is true. And from there, we deduce that we must have that for all natural numbers n, p of n is true. And that's exactly what the principle of mathematical induction tells us. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.